I remember actually as a kid, you know, just staring out the window, thinking about the country I was growing up in, I suppose. Rampant inequality, poverty, corporate profit over public health, uh, cronyism and dereliction of duty in the highest offices of the land. And God damn it, the little firebrand I was. I remember thinking, what kind of system is this that creates and perpetuates all this misery? And how can I get in on it? <laughs> and I think that day, there and then, I became a centrist. Like a lot of the kids in school were into revolutionaries, you know, um, James Guevara and a few of them, but I was like, why are we revolting, guys? You know, I mean, my dad's got a nice job. We live in a nice area. What's the problem? Because <laughs> I had my own revolutionary hero. The man, the myth, the revolutionized labor, didn't he? You know, dragged it away from its uh, commie trade union and benefits street past. <laughs> the father of modern centrism. Tony paved the way for those of us who like to sit on the political fence to effectively have it all. You know, want to call yourself a liberal and for equality, whatever the heck that means, <laughs> but don't want to get your hands dirty. Be a centrist, you know, more social housing, more travelers but not on my street. <laughs> Secretly hate brown and black people and want them gone, but don't want to associate with or catch anything off those uh, knuckle-dragging far-right goons. Hello, centrism, baby! I mean, Tony makes those anti-immigrants look like a bunch of schoolgirls. A few marches, Nazi salutes, and the odd racially motivated attack. <laughs> Try making up a war so you can go over and kill some of them, buddy. <laughs> In their thousands, then come back to me. <laughs> no, no, it's fine, um, his god said it was okay. Do you fear that black and brownies are getting above their station, but you don't have the guts to join a fash party? Do you feel uncomfortable that some on the left might actually just give a shit about other human beings? Does it highlight the fact that you don't, and so you reduce everything they say and do to virtue signaling and identity politics? Do you want to be part of a movement that keeps things exactly as they are? Then become a centrist today!